All right, the last example we have here for uh, lesson 404, we are going to um, use some identities and we're going to find our uh, thetas, secant theta and tangent of theta in quadrant three. So the nice thing is it does tell us that we are in quadrant three. And since we're going to be in quadrant three, then what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to draw a nice pretty little triangle in quadrant three. And if you're in quadrant three, that means you have something, here's your quadrants. That's a really nice straight line. I think it pins off. Um, so if you're in quadrant three, what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to draw this triangle. Going down, one over this way. And here's our right angle. Here's our theta. Well, our theta, we don't know what that is. And then it does tell us though that sine of theta is equal to a negative five over 13. So keep in mind with what sine is equal to, this is a y value over our r, our radius. So that means we're gonna put a 13 here for our, our r. This is gonna be a negative five right here for our y. So we're gonna to have to find our third side and in order to find out what our third side is, we need to put an x here. This is going to be negative. We know it's going to be negative because we're going to be in quadrant three. So we need to use Pythagorean theorem. So we're going to say x squared plus negative five squared equals 13. And this is actually a Pythagorean triple also. We'll see if you recognize it or not. But it's a special right triangle with special attributes. So subtract 25 to both sides, you get 144. X is equal to 12. So our X value is a negative 12. <clears throat> okay, okay. So in order to find out what our secant is, that is secant is a one over cosine or the same thing as the reciprocal of sine, so, or cosine. So cosine theta is its ka, is your adjacent over your hypotenuse. And that must mean that our secant is our hypotenuse over our adjacent side. <clears throat> so that means, or another way to look at it is, it's gonna be your R value over your X value. So you can look at these a couple different ways. You can do it using SOHCAHTOA or your other trig values. So we take our R, that's gonna be a 13, over our X, and then we get our solution. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna have a negative 13 over 12. Now to find our tangent, our tangent of theta, toa, all right, don't forget toa, that is your opposite side over your adjacent, or you may remember as y over x, so it's the same thing. So your opposite side is your adjacent, or your opposite side is your y, adjacent side is your x, adjacent to this angle here. So we're gonna take our y value, which is negative five, and we're going to divide that by our x value. So negative 5 divided by negative 12 gives us a positive 5 twelfths. There you go. So that finalizes 4-4. Four, four. Um, as a little summary here, you have to remember your values of x. You have to remember your values of... Oh, my triangles. Um, you got to remember your values around you in the circle. That'll make your life much easier. Draw pictures when you need them to find your third side. Use Pythagorean theorem. And basically just thoroughly enjoy all of this trigonometry with right triangles. You guys have a wonderful day. Dun 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 d